I have a few prepared comments that I'd like to start off with. As you all know, several weeks ago, videos began to surface of Planned Parenthood officials talking candidly and bluntly about the prospect of essentially selling body parts of aborted babies. Shortly thereafter, my office, coordinating with Governor Abbott, and officials at HHSC launched an investigation into Planned Parenthood activities in Texas. Our goal is to find out if anyone anywhere in Texas has violated the law, and if so, to seek legal redress. Our investigators are working across Texas to gather information and evidence relevant to this case. Last week, after meeting at a Houston Planned Parenthood clinic, officials here there invited our team to take a look around including a stop at what they called the POC, POC room, which POC stands for Products of Conception. There, lab techni techni technicians receive the remains of aborted children, also known as the products, which are washed, examined, bagged, refrigerated, and accumulated in every, every week, taken away by a contractor that burns their bodies as medical waste. On this day, as my staffers watched, a technician took an aborted child from a jar, rinsed it in a colander, and placed the body parts in a tray. Fingers and toes, exceptionally tiny but fully formed, were clearly visible. The remains were eventually deposited in a red plastic bag about the size of an average grocery sack. According to the people at the facility, they average at least 260 pounds of medical waste a week, every week. The videos that have made all the headlines raise a large number of troubling allegations, allegations that, again, my office is aggressively investigating, and we will go to any and all lawful lengths to get to the bottom of what is happening. But more than any misdeeds involving the sale of aborted baby parts is the fundamental truth. The true abomination in all of this is the institution of abortion. Even if their body parts are never sold or never used for research, for the babies who are killed in abortion clinics, more than 54,000 last year in Texas, and more than 57 million in the, in the United States since 1973, their fate is in a plastic bag, in a refrigerator, an anonymous disposal in an incinerator somewhere. We are rightfully horrified by what we've seen on these videos, particularly the allegations involving body parts being marketed as an additional revenue stream for Planned Parenthood. However, these videos also serve as a larger reminder that as a society, we have turned a blind eye to the gruesome horrors that occur in abortion clinics across America every single day. They remind us that this industry as a whole has lost the perspective of humanity about the basic truths that they're dealing with. It's not difficult to draw lines between this disconnect with the casual, almost indifferent attitude we're seen, we've seen so far on these tapes. Maybe it's a defense mechanism for dealing with the horrors. Even the language that, that they use, products of conception, betrays a profound denial of humanity to the children who die at these clinics every day. We are all products of conception. The only difference between us and those who end up in these incinerators is that we weren't aborted. For us, when we pass on, our bodies will be treated with reverence and respect, even those of us who choose to donate our remains to science. Even the remains of our most vicious criminals are treated with respect. For the children who never had a chance at life, however, they become so-called medical waste or alternatively, a commodity to be bargained for. Neither fate is an appropriate end for any human being. Again, this in no way diminishes the disgusting displays we've recently seen on these videos. At a minimum, the people involved project a cold, calculating, almost inhumane indifference to the lives they treat as a product they're attempting to sell. At worst, they may represent a violation of state and federal laws. My office will continue to thoroughly investigate these issues. But we should never lose sight of the fact that as long as abortion is legal in the United States, these types of horrors will continue. Over the past several days, there have been reports that my office, as part of our investigation, has gained possession of hours of video recordings involving a Texas Plan Parenthood office. These reports are accurate. I cannot go into detail about these recordings at this time, but they appear to be consistent with other videos that have been released regarding Planned Parenthood. Again, I thank you all for having me here, for taking the time to have this hearing. This is a strong example of our state's leadership working together to ensure the people of Texas are fully aware of what's going on within our state's borders. I hope you all understand there's very little in the way of details I can offer about our investigation. I would like to thank the committee and, our, and Senator Schwartner for allowing me to be here to testify and for taking the time to deal with this important issue. Thank you very much.